Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about update strategy transformation. What is update strategy transformation? So like all the other transformations in Informatica, they are doing some something specific. All of them are meant for some specific purpose. Similarly, update strategies transformation is meant for the purpose of updating, choosing whether we want to update the records, delete the records or insert the records. So it's like flagging the records of the source table based upon that flag, based upon the condition, the target table records will be either updated or they will be new records will be inserted or they will be deleted. Let's see how it works. We uh, have already seen that uh, uh, in that session task in the workflow manager, we have a session task, for example, which runs a particular mapping. If we go in the properties window here, we have something called as treat source as we spoke about this in one of our earlier videos. So in treat source as we choose either insert, delete, update or data driven. What does it mean? We are trying to tell the session that whether we want to insert the records into the target or we want to delete the particular set of records from the target. We want to update those records or at last we choose data driven. Data driven means that whatever we have flagged in the source mapping according to that mapping according to the transformation according to the flagging done inside the transformation it is going to perform either insert update or delete on that particular table so how does it work let's see let's go in the mapping i'm going to discard this for now and uh, let's go here in the mapping window let's create a new mapping and let's name it m m department update str stands for update strategy let's say okay now we drag the sources as we always do we are going to drag the employee and we are going to then drag the target I'm sorry uh, we don't have to drag the flat file target we want to drag the relational table target not even this one we want to drag this one actually V and target so now if you look at this table we have all the columns same as the source that is employee number name job manager hire date salary uh, commerce under department department number now uh, what do we actually uh, want here what we want is that when the records gets loaded from the source to the target we want to make an insert of those records whose department number is not 10 whereas for those records whose department number is 10 we just want to delete them let's look here let's look at an example here Let's, let's take this uh, the table as one of those examples. So we have VEMP and VEMP target. Here we say, now we have VEMP, we have all these kinds of records. Whereas in VEMP target, we have records of, uh, you know, the department number 20 and 30. So here, now let's say we put a condition where we say, please insert the records into the VEMP target table if the data coming from VEMP has the department number 10 whereas for those records whose department number is either 20 or 30 please delete them from VEMP target table let us see how this works 
so what we are going to do we are going to make a update strategy transformation we are going to create a transformation box like this drag all the columns here and then we put a condition we say if department number is not equal to 10 then please delete those records otherwise please update what is this 2 and 0 this 2 and 0 denotes the specific commands 0 actually stands for dd delete dd insert sorry and 1 stands for dd uh, update 2 stands for dd delete D, uh, and 3 stands for DD uh, rejection that we reject a, a particular set of records. So this is how we specify what kind of uh, uh, command that we want to give it to the Informatica. Now we say validate it works well and we just connect the target to the transformation. We save it. and we then go in the workflow manager inside the workflow manager we now first open our particular folder here we create a new workflow and department underscore upd str that stands for update strategy then we create a new session task saying and we connect a particular mapping once the session task is created we of course we are going to just create a uh, joining here between the start object and the session object and then we are going to look at the properties the property here should be correctly mentioned as data driven number one which it is automatically going to show because the mapping that we have connected has an update strategy transformation in it then we have to go in the mappings tab and here we have to of course we first are going first we are going to just change this uh, connections this uh, oracle source and the oracle target connection once this is done then we go in the targets in the targets uh, we select a particular target table and here we then update these values here we say that please inform the insert operation and we are going to uncheck this when is this update as update used when we are going to actually update the records so these three options update as update update as insert and update else insert are these are the three options which are used when we are updating the records in a target table the first one says that whatever is the record just update the value and this one says that if you are so so basically the first one is about first of all finding the record if the informatica is able to find the record in the target table it is going to update it the second one says that even if you are able to find the record then instead of updating please insert it the same record gets inserted the new one and the third one says that if you are able to find the record then ok update it otherwise please insert so that is the uh, uh, option here which says update else insert as of now the example that we have taken is regarding insert and the delete so we have only checked these two options first one and the last one we say apply ok connection parameters are already set we just save this workflow and we start it we go in the monitor window and here we see the workflow is finally successful let's go in the database and check this is the target table where we were expecting the records so as we see the records which were having a department number of 20 and 30 have got deleted whereas those which were having department number of 10 have got inserted that's what we said in the mapping that 
if department number is not equal to 10 which means de if department number is equal to anything other than 10 that is 20 30 whatever then please delete those records otherwise please insert so if department number is equal to 10 then please insert accordingly informatica has performed its operation this is how we use update strategy transformation thank you